It's Halloween and I want to share with you 10 ways you can use Google's free AI tools to maximize your fun and fright this year. Woo! And I'm not talking about basic prompts to help you figure out your costume, no. We're going to be preparing for a zombie apocalypse, we're going to be building haunted houses, we're going to be learning how to cast magic spells and a whole lot more. Stick around because at the end of the video I want to show you how you can turn yourself into Frankenstein or any freaky creature that you can come up with. Let's go, I'm jumping right into the ebook. I make an ebook like this for every single video that I create. There are now over 155 of these instantly accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon. This is gonna include all the prompts we're going through today and a whole lot more. The first uh, way to use Gemini for Halloween that I love is to create a haunted history tour. So we're gonna use a prompt like this that just says I'm creating a haunted history tour and it looks for legends, ghost stories, and mysterious events in your area. I'm dropping this right into Gemini, updating it with the location of Boston. Awesome, we've got some different graveyards here. We've got historic buildings with dark pasts, sites of tragic events. Now I'm following it up with this prompt, just saying for each of these, provide some backstory, etc. Now it is enhancing it with extra details. Now I'm following it up with this prompt, figuring out the best route. You can can do this either walking or driving. It's given us a few different routes. And now I'm just saying let's create the audio tour script using route two. That looked like the best walking route here. And now after I've asked for just the narrator version only, I have this beautiful transcript that we can grab and copy right here into Google AI Studio. I'm gonna to go to Generate Media, Generate Speech. I'm gonna select Single Speaker. I'm gonna select Sharon as the speaker. I'm gonna adjust the style instructions to say read aloud in a ghostly Halloween tone. Stop one, Boston Common, the oldest public park in America. This green space, however, this was Boston's primary execution site. You can export this as an MP3, share it with your friends, even upload it to Spotify. I might use something like DistroKid for that. Next up, I want to get into this hyper-personalized murder mystery dinner. So we can design a murder mystery that incorporates personal details and inside jokes uh, about your special guests. First, you want to prompt the AI and give it a little bit of background on your different guests and have it sketch out some character archetypes. From there, you can ask it to generate a murder mystery plot that takes into account all of those details and make sure to get some backstory for each of your characters. Have it map out the different game materials and timeline. A bunch of my friends are in bands, so Jim and I helped me craft a backstage murder mystery game that was a total riot. Next up, the home escape room. With Gemini, you can transform a part of your house into an insane escape room experience. First, tell it what rooms you have available and you can even upload photos. Then work with it on a theme for your escape room. Before digging into the fun part here, the puzzle design, which includes the puzzle flow as well as individual puzzles themselves. Before finally asking it to create an implementation guide that'll walk you through exactly how to prepare the room and more. Now those are all fun and games, but now it's time to get really scary with the zombie apocalypse survival training. Prompted to help you and your family learn basic first aid along with emergency survival skills all tied back into this surviving the zombie apocalypse theme. Prompted to create a personalized narrative in which a zombie outbreak has recurred and participants need to complete various challenges to find a cure. There's a ton more in the ebook here about all the different stations you can set up and how they can tie into specific skills. Number six is the DIY Haunted House Workshop. Gather some folks together and use Gemini to help you learn traditional scare techniques, along with how to build props and create sound and lighting effects for the ultimate haunted house. And now I want to blast out of this world entirely. How about an alien contact simulation? You can use Gemini to help you design a new species of alien and a first contact scenario. Then use it to challenge your participants through interstellar diplomacy and other cosmic conundrums. And now for a few advanced ideas. You can use Gemini to help you develop a game to explore global Halloween traditions. It's surprisingly good at fleshing out a series of quests and you can even use the new image generation tool, Nano 
Final Banana to create some of the game materials. This is a really cool way to virtually explore these different cultures. And you can think about this as trick-or-treating across time and space. Number nine, what about creating some DIY electronic projects using Arduino and Raspberry Pi? You can use Gemini to help you brainstorm different ideas based on your skill level and budget. And from there, it can help you create the specifications and even write the code that powers these things. <laughs> that's something that's close to my heart. There's a lot more in the ebook about that. Finally, number 10, why not use Notebook LM to help you learn a new Halloween skill such as tarot, palm reading, magic, or mentalism, maybe even hypnotism. Here in Notebook LM, you just click Discover Sources. I'm just saying I want to learn how to read people's palms. Please gather a bunch of resources about learning that skill. It's gathered those, and I'm saying please map out a lesson plan for learning this. It's given me five awesome modules. I'm saying please create a detailed lesson for number one. You can just work your way through that, and you can even create videos to teach you or different audio podcasts. All these prompts and a ton more are all available in this ebook. Again, this is available to anybody who supports my Patreon. There's a link in the description. You can download this and over 155 others instantly by joining my Patreon. And now to turn yourself into a creepy creature like I showed you at the beginning, all you need to do is take a video of yourself and then grab a screenshot of that video, one of the first frames, drop that into Nano Banana, ask it to turn you into whatever creepy creature that you want to be. It should return a image of that. Then you need to go over to Runway and upload that image along with your footage and ask Runway to create the video. And the video that you've uploaded will drive the animation and animate that image that you created. There's more about that in the ebook as well. And here's a few other AI tools that might come in handy this Halloween. For creating AI video and eerie projections, you can think about using the new VO3.1. And if you want to create some amazing pumpkin carving templates, you can think about using either Nano Banana or Mid Journey for that. And just make sure to prompt it for simple black and white outline type images of whatever you're going for. Uh, Suno AI is a great way to create some songs for your Halloween party. You can even think of turning your murder mystery dinner into a Rocky Horror Picture Show type uh, musical event event using themed uh, songs with Suno AI. Another one, Eleven Labs. You can use Eleven Labs to change your voice to create spooky character voices for party announcements or different trick-or-treat greetings. And a quick party planning checklist you can use inside of Gemini is to first brainstorm on the theme and budget, then get into the different costumes and treats and recipes and food that you might serve. Obviously, decoration planning comes next and is pretty important if you want to do an escape room experience or a murder mystery dinner, think about how you can transform all the different rooms in your house into creepy crypts of various types. You can even use Gemini to plan out a full calendar of events as far as when the decorations need to go up and maybe a few different ideas of things you can do leading up to the big night, including different community events. And don't forget to use it to brainstorm different Halloween movies and songs and maybe arts and crafts that you used to love but have forgotten about. I've got prompts for all that in the ebook and a lot more. Make sure to check that out. There's a link in the description. Again, anybody who joins my Patreon gets access to not only that ebook, but also 155 others. And we just barely touched on Notebook LM in this video. That's one of my favorite tools. I've got another video all about that right here. I will see you over there. Make your dreams come true.